Hey, what's up out there, everyone? We made it to the weekend, and we're still talking HBCU football. I'm Tali Carr in Atlanta. The spring season is getting closer. Let's concentrate on the MEAC, Howard University. You know, the last couple of years, it's been about who's leaving D.C. as opposed to who's coming in. Kalen Newton had everyone excited. Then he transfers out to Auburn. And then, you know, Ron Prince comes in and quickly becomes a popper after a controversial season as the head coach. So now it's time for a new plan, a new culture, and enter Larry Scott. He has plenty of experience. He was at the University of Tennessee. He was at the University of Miami, the University of Florida. So he's been in the big-time programs, even the interim coach for a little while there at the University of Miami. So now we are just weeks away from Coach Scott potentially working his magic in the nation's capital. Everything starts with people, right? When you talk about building cultures, it's not buildings. It's not the names or brands that you wear on your shirt. It's not any of those things. We start with people. Uh, so one of the very most important things that were really critical to me was to hire a really good staff uh, and was able to do that. Of men that I've been around, uh, worked around from various levels of the National Football League to the SEC to the ACC, the HBCU, and put a collective body of really great minds together that has vast experience in all from all backgrounds and situations. So I uh, was able to really, really do that. Uh, you know, a, a staff, very diverse staff. And uh, as far as, you know, age groups from uh, older gentlemen and veteran coaches to really sharp young coaches that are building a brand for themselves uh, and those things. And it's all built around, uh, you hear people say it all the time, it's, it's built around family. Uh, and it, it, it's built around men that I know that I've been around that kind of have walked the walk that I've walked in my why of why I do what I do in coaching. Uh, guys that embrace the opportunity that we have to make an impact on young people's lives and, and, and that how important and critical that is and, and how serious people take their role as a coach. Um, and like you heard, heard Coach Milstead say, you know, a father figure, uh, you know, a father to the fatherless, uh, a uncle, a cousin, and what have you. And But, you know, a lot of really good people that, that know how to do that. And, they, and the biggest examples of that is how they are in their families as husbands, as, as fathers, as, as mentors of their own children. Uh, and those type of things. So I think the first part of uh, changing the culture is to make sure you have the right people in place. Uh, since then, we've been able to make some changes in just with our equipment manager, with our strength staff, and with our academic people and, and build a foundation of, of that that net, that home feeling for our players and know that where, whatever area that they touch and deal with the most in our program, whether it's a coach, whether it's an academic counselor, um, whether it's a tutor, whether it's the strength staff, whether it's the training room staff, whether it's the equipment guy, uh, that we're all aligned, we're all on the same page, and we're all in it for the right reasons because culture just can't start on the football field. It has to be in every aspect and every facet of the program that touch the young men. So changes in the air all over D.C., right, this time of the year. But what will Howard look like on the football field? Only time will tell, but there is a void in the MEAC. a and leaving, FAMU leaving, Bethune-Cookman leaving, Who's going to step up and be the upper echelon program, or at least one of them, in the MEAC? Can Coach Scott do it with HU? You let us know in the comments. We'd love to talk about it. MEAC football on the horizon. I see spring. It's coming. Come on, spring. It's coming. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us here at HBCU Game Day. We'll talk to you guys soon.